my spiritual brothers and sisters. Namaste. I really want to say how much I appreciate the Tej Gyan Foundation and the work that it is doing today. I'm so impressed by volunteers and also what I'm hearing today and you know the work that all of you are, uh, are involved in which is towards attaining self-realization, towards leading a life of joy and happiness and inner bliss. This is indeed a sacred task that all of us are engaged in because I do believe that humanity is currently uh, moving towards a great shift. A shift from a, a, a fractured negative uh, state of mind into a, 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 a very, very positive and happy and harmonious way of life. This is what we in India call Satyug. Elsewhere it's known as New, new Age. And basically what it's about, it's about, is about leading a life that is full of harmony, that, that uh, focuses on brotherhood of man, where people uh, work with peace towards each other, where we are focused on the welfare of the universe, where there's no conflict, there's cooperation rather than uh, competition. And all of us can live in a way that helps us to realize our highest potential. It's a beautiful way of life and anybody who's involved in it is doing the highest and best task that we can possibly be engaged in and I really, really honor uh, Sir Shri for doing this and I really uh, applaud all of you for being engaged in this wonderful task. <clears throat> I'm also, I also love your mo motto, happy thoughts with which all of you greet each other and I see that all of you have a little brooch also which says it. It's such a very simple thing but it's also a profound philosophy in its, in its own way because I'm sure we all acknowledge that it's not easy to have happy thoughts. Having a state of mind that only generates happy thoughts is, is actually a, a work of a lifetime because most of us are much more, it's, it's much easier for us to be negative. It's much easier, it's much more comfortable. It's not hard work to be negative. It's a very easy state of mind. But to be positive requires a lot of hard work. It requires for all of us to work on ourselves, to understand what is our own state of mind, to look at our own thoughts, and very patiently to work towards transforming them into positive thinking. The book is marvelous. It's a wonderful study on what is, what is the root, what is the reason behind Poor relationships, how we can move behind it and attain good relationships. Another um, area which I'd like to focus on is on uh, the relationships between husband and wife, which, which all of us recognize is a powerful thing because the family is after all the building block of uh, society. Now, he says there are seven steps. It's a very, a very uh, I would say, uh, original analysis. He looks at relationships as a, a seven step process, you know, and how we move through these processes based on the awareness that we're in. So the first step is, uh, the first level is when we are completely unconscious and that's the level when we just react. We are unconscious, somebody says something, we react, we yell, we fight, we have quarrels. The second step is when there's a little awareness and we start introspect, I mean, we start thinking, okay, you know, what's happening? Why am I, you know? Uh, reacting like this. Is there, is there any way I can go out of this reaction process? The third step is when we active, actively start introspective, when we start thinking about it, when we start trying to change our own behavior. Perhaps I need not have said this, perhaps I, as he says, the man may start thinking, perhaps I should have brought a flower for her and then maybe things would have been different. And the wife says, maybe I should have served the food with greater grace and maybe then things would have been different. So they start taking responsibility for their actions. At the fourth level, they start inquiring with sincerity into the root cause of their own reactive behavior. And, and this is when they begin to recognize that the root cause perhaps is in their own observations or what happened in their childhood, about how their parents behaved, how them, the woman looks at how their mother behaved in her, uh, you know, with her husband. And she recognizes that she has picked up a lot of these things unconsciously. The husband looks at how his father behaved with his mother. And he recognizes that he's picked up a lot of these signals unconsciously. So they begin to look at the root cause of it and they begin to work on it. And start working towards a relationship based on freedom and love and selflessness. 
he calls the sixth level the zone of bright love which i think is a very charming phase i mean not just love but love that's you know absolutely <laughs> glowing bright and um, here this is a love that's unconditional where there's to no expectations that's totally giving and selfless this seems like a beautiful stage a, a stage of high aspiration one would say this is the ultimate stage but surshri actually finds another level that's even higher than this and this is a level where love becomes devotion love becomes spiritual and it has its basis on loving god you know this is finally this is why uh, the path that surshri draws for us the relationship path is actually a path that ends in self realization because then we recognize that real love is actually recognizing the god in the other human being and serving that god and in through that we learn to really reach the highest potential in our own selves and i think this is something this sort of aspiration to this very high level no matter what goal we are pursuing is something very 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 uh, peculiar to india in india we don't we are not satisfied with limited goals we don't say that hey i should just have a happy re- relationship no we want to use this happy relationship to actually move us towards realizing god and realizing ourselves and i think it's absolutely beautiful that surshri uses relationships something so so inherent in all of us to move towards this ultimate path of self realization so love which begins as a personal love becomes a path which ultimately culminates in the transpersonal in finding god there is deep wisdom in the words of sir shri now all that remains is for us to apply it i'm sure that all of you through his guidance and presence will find the task easier and quicker than most others in the outside world i wish you all joy in reading the book and success in moving along the path of relationships to the bliss of self realization thank you इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें साथ ही अपने अभिप्राय हमें कमेंट करके जरूर बताएं। हमारे हैप्पी थॉट्स तेज ज्ञान और सर श्री तेज ज्ञान चैनल को आज ही सब्सक्राइब करें और लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सबसे पहले पाने के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाएं। धन्यवाद